Yes, it's right October, and the uh, Phils are playing the Mets tonight. So, in the first game of the, the World Series, or the playoffs. So, I want to talk to you a little bit about rates. That seems to be the big topic these days. With the election coming up, rates have been coming down. The other day, I just got a rate sheet for 6.375 on a 0.30-year fixed rate, which is pretty good. So, when you're in the process, after you put an offer in the house, you offer it to accept it, you take your official mortgage application, and now you're still floating with the rate. At any time, given the lender's parameters, their rules are, you can lock in. That means that's your rate. That's going to be your rate, assuming fixed for 30 years. But in between then and settlement, the rates tend to still fluctuate. Well, what I want to tell you is you're locked into that rate that day, but you're also locked into that rate sheet. It's an important distinction because whatever the rates are that day in any of the products you qualify for, you can have that rate. In other words, if things progress and you say, you know what, I think I want to do a buy down because I want the rate to be cheaper for the first couple of years. Something came up, the insurance is a little higher, I'm going to be making more in a couple of years. Let's, let's do that. You can switch that. You say, okay, you know, I came into some money, so I want to buy points now and lower that rate. You can still do that, even if the rates are higher, because you locked into whatever the rates were that day. Talk to your lender about that. If something changes, don't be afraid to go back and renegotiate with the lender. Now, if you're in an agreement of sale, yes, you have a mortgage contingency. If you don't get your mortgage, you get your money back. That was based on a certain type of mortgage. You do have to show up at the settlement table with that mortgage, and you can't just encumber the seller, like switch from conventional to FHA. FHA is a different deal for the seller. VA is a different deal for the seller. So as long as you don't change anything on their part without their permission, you're fine. You can do that. So if the rates fluctuate and the rates come down, you're still locked into that rate that day, unless your lender has a program where you can lock in and float down. With the election coming up, I don't know that we're going to see too many people floating down unless they already locked last week or two and the rates are going to get better right before election day and drop into the fives. Maybe. Highly unlikely, but maybe. It's more likely that the rates may pop up a little bit, although most people are predicting them to come down into January and February and market changes and we're going to have more listings on the market and all that kind of stuff. But suffice it to say, is you're not stuck with that rate, you're stuck with that rate sheet. So you want to switch to a buy down, do 5% down, you want to put more money down, the rate might change a little bit, more power to you. Talk to your loan officer, they'll take my word for it. But if you need any help and if you have any questions, feel free, reach out to me anytime.